Bernard Van Leer Foundation has always recognized the importance of an ongoing evaluation for CSI. I was contracted early on in the process to do a process evaluation. Um, I, I came on board and the first thing I realized was that although CSI wanted to move from a project-oriented um, approach to a program-oriented approach, that it wasn't actually doing that. So that was one of the first tasks that I, I took on. And I think as a result of that, CSI has um, gone a long way onto the road of being a program as opposed to a projectized thing. The CSI Program Office in Barbados plays a key role in ensuring that the BVLF mandate is fulfilled. Serving in a facilitating capacity, the CSI Office has been instrumental from the early days of the program in mapping local conditions, forging partnerships with government institutions, local NGOs and donor agencies, incubating and negotiating new projects and coordinating regional events. In 2005, CSI established a multidisciplinary strategy group comprising of regional and international resource persons to provide advice on the treatment of emerging issues confronting the CSI, in particular issues of learning, expansion and sustainability. The idea is to look for strategies that both um, are empowering in terms of building strengths on strengths within the region and which are effective and then on top of that they have to find ways in which the countries in which they are placed can maintain them. Over the next five years the CSI program will seek to build on and strengthen its accomplishments in a number of key areas. The introduction of new parent and support models across the region the engagement of the academic communities at the University of the West Indies around the internship concept, strengthening partnerships with local policymakers, as well as nurturing and strengthening relationships with the donor community as well as other development agencies across the region. These successes have given the CSI program regional credibility and has positioned the program to be more influential in the areas of public policy and advocacy as well as knowledge building and application so that future programs around child rearing and parenting in the region are better informed and thereby more effective.